back at it again. Oh, I gotta get all these tires moved today. And then those tires. And then, uh, yeah, I need to find some scrap metals and start uh, figuring out that uh, thing from my buddy Shane. He needs a rooftop tent um, bracket system thing. Well, here's the old shed. Um, I haven't even really looked inside it yet. Bunch of stuff, but uh, I did poke my head in. Holy crap, that thing's as big as a freaking baseball. Like, that's my hand. That thing's big. It's full of spiders, too. Gross. Oh, gross. Cobwebs everywhere. Get off me. But, uh, oh, frick, I walked right into it. Get off. Ugh. Oh, look at that guy. Big freaking web right here. But uh, anyways, I'll get some stuff moved into it. That's a little bit disgusting. <laughs> That's all the cobwebs that was in there. There's still more. But uh, I haven't seen anything crawling yet, so it's, that's good. But uh, I gotta clean this out, for freak's sakes. <sighs> Just thinking about us giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, free lawnmower. <laughs> Ugh, I don't even like being near this thing. That's looking better already. I didn't bother cleaning the other stuff out because, you know, I'm just gonna fire it into the yard and it's gonna look like crap. Like this. So I think I'll hold off until I get a trailer. Or I could even just throw a piece of plywood on that one. And uh, well, it'll be $109 for a plate and lifetime registration, lifetime friggin' insurance, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I definitely need to go through this. I stopped sweeping because I saw that there's mice living in here. There's mouse crap all over the top. So uh, I don't wanna be breathing in mouse crap dust and stuff so um, I'll just get the other tires in there and see what I'm left with at the shop. And I'll do an inventory of my friggin solid axle stuff. Oh also I got that um, that nut just soaking in WD-40. I propped it up so that it would just soak right into it and then I'll see if anything will happen. If I can break it loose cool if not then uh, then I'll get violent on it. But anyways um, a little bit more room, I got that tote. That had all the friggin' solid axle stuff in it. Now I gotta go through that tote. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot. Oh, there's a couple friggin' steering knuckles in there. Right there and there, I'm gonna need those. And then, that tote I think can just go out into the shed. Man, I feel like there's spiders crawling all over me. Um, this is all my Volkswagen friggin turbo swap stuff so that uh, that can go out in the shed as well. Um, I think this welder can go out there as well. The battery charger will stay in here. Um, I want to start friggin collecting license plates like hang them up maybe there for now until I get lots and then find another spot for them but um, yeah, so I guess now that I got a shop, I can start hanging up my license plates and stuff. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, if you guys want to send me license plates or whatever, I'll put uh, my mailing address down in the description. So, um, yeah, if you do, thank you. That's awesome. Um, if you do send them, make sure to autograph them. And put your uh, YouTube username and stuff on it. Uh, but yeah, so I think. I think I like that setup there. I need to clean out all around it and stuff. I gotta build a base or something for my tubing bender. But, um, yeah, she's coming along. Coming along. <laughs> Look at all the freaking beer bottles and stuff. That's all recycling you can take. There's probably like 10 bucks. No, no, not 10 bucks, maybe five. Five bucks worth of stuff there. That'll buy a padlock or something. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along. Sweet. Oh, that's looking a lot better. I got the welder moved over to where it's going to be. I got the uh, big friggin' 
welding table moved over to where it's going to be, except it's got to get leaned down. Um, I need to make, what was it, 27 inch legs for this to bring it up to good height for me. Um, and I just got to do a couple other little things, get some stuff moved. But uh, it's coming along. I just need to get this stuff off to the side, bring that inside, and put the quad inside. Because we're going to get groceries. We hungry. Well, I've now got a walking path all the way around. There's lots of space behind the quad too now. Which is awesome. You guys can't see it. But uh, yeah, I got a good maybe four feet behind the quad and then all this trail here. So now I can open and close the door much easier. So uh, I think this might be it for tonight. I got a lot done. I'm not uh, disappointed with what I got done today, so yeah. Well, the Telus guy came today and hooked up our uh, satellite uh, friggin' TV thing, but uh, I, he came in and looked at this. Apparently, I thought this was the door chime thing, but it's actually an old school friggin' antique uh, phone access panel kind of dealy thing. Yeah, your inside lines coming in through the bottom and each one is fused. Those things top and bottom are fuses. This thing is freaking old. The guy said it belongs in a museum. <laughs> so um, he's gonna come back and install a brand new friggin updated uh, friggin phone line system for the house. Completely free of charge. Freaking love that kind. Check that out. That is so cool. Sweet. Well, we're back home now and uh, started going around and marking where I want uh, outlets. I need a uh, 110 there, a 110 right there, and there's a 240 right there. That's for the welder. Um, I gotta put maybe one or Probably one, just one more down there somewhere. And then I'll have a couple, maybe three, on this wall here. Then I'm going to need probably two. I'll have one somewhere around there. And then another one probably right there. And the wind's playing games with me. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I can't freaking wait to get this thing all wired up properly and... If we can get that fuse panel, or the, the breaker box, get the breaker box installed, that'll be awesome. And now that uh, I've got this out here, we've got a Princess Auto here, and I'll be able to find the proper blade for this, because it's a weird length. I'm having a hell of a time tracking down the proper size blade. Yeah, so I'll put the breaker box right there. Um, I just I figured it'll be the easiest to just drop the wire down and up into it. Um, yeah, so yesterday's video um, was talking about needing one, and uh, R. Hufford, um, he says he's got one kicking around, so um, all I gotta do is pay shipping and he'll friggin' send her off. I told him to autograph it or write his uh, YouTube username on it first, so that's pretty cool. That'll be just awesome. I really appreciate that. But, uh,. Yeah, so anyways, um, that'll do it for today. Busy day, actually. Got a lot done. Feels like there's spiders on me still. That shed was just... But anyways, um, <laughs> thanks for watching, and until tomorrow, take care, guys. One more thing I might like to do is extend the deck out a little bit. Um, bring her out a ways and then wrap kind of that way. That way we'll have a place to put the patio set, but even if we come to like here, out to there, it's still a decent, well, that'd be a decent sized deck actually. And we have plenty of yard left. This yard's pretty big.